Okay, what's up guys, you know what I'm saying? Just realized my hair is freaking trash. Hold up real quick. Gotta come in real quick, you know what I'm saying? I'm really picking my thoughts for it, oh my gosh. Okay, but for real guys, um, yeah, we got a pretty interesting video. Got my Southern Alligator Lizards behind me, you know what I'm saying? Um, at least one of my tanks, and they're actually in need of a substrate change. And pretty much what a substrate change is, is when your reptile poops a lot and a lot of a lot, lot um, you're supposed to change out their substrate. You're supposed to do this about pretty much every three weeks. I mean, every three months, and then you're supposed to be picking up little pieces of poop periodically, just spot cleaning once every week, pretty much. So yeah, I need to change out their substrate. I'm gonna redesign their enclosure a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Make it more groovy. You dig? And yeah, hopefully the camera quality is better. You know what I'm saying? Got that ring light. Got that real YouTuber slash TikTok type stuff. And yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let's get into it. Okay, guys, so this is the enclosure. You know what I'm saying? Get this freaking wire out the way for y'all. That was a fail. But yeah, that's the enclosure. You dig? And all those white things right there, those are little pieces of caca. And yeah, that is not what you guys want to see in your tank. And since it's already been three months, I would usually just start picking out all those pieces of caca, but it's been three months and you know what I'm saying, it's not gonna be too tedious of a job compared to all the other things I do. So might as well, well, I actually have to switch out the substrate. Y'all should be doing this as well. There's actually, as y'all can see, there's um, some shed right there, another piece of shed right there. So yeah, we'll get that out as well. And yeah, once I have all these things out of the tank, then we'll move on to the next step, so I'll see you guys then. Okay guys, literally just finished up taking out all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh. Am I brain dead or just stupid? Probably both. But yeah, I forgot this rock. So yeah, we'll keep that. But yeah, just took out all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? As y'all can see right here. And if you guys look at that one right there. Yes, we're talking about you. His freaking tail fell off, man. And if you guys want to know why because took him out on my birthday, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to hold one of them and he jumped off my arm onto the floor and the impact of him hitting the ground popped his tail off. I've never seen something like that in my whole entire life, guys. I've never even dropped an alligator lizard's tail before. That was the first time. And yeah, that was just unexpected. Anyways, let's swap out the substrate and then we'll get into the real good stuff of showing you guys how I like to set up my tanks. So let's get it. Okay guys, so I have just finished adding the substrate, you know what I'm saying, as y'all can see. And if I'm being honest, I did add a little bit more than I should have. So because of that... Yeah, um, I don't even know what I'm about to say. So I'm going to be doing this in two parts. On this side is going to be the warm side or whatever. So yeah, if you guys are building along with me or are building the tank with me, just know that this side is gonna be the warm side, and then to the right side, my right side, and that'll be the cool side, just so y'all have a idea of how I want the tank to have different temperatures and all that. So, first things first, the warm side. Since I am using a kind of warm heat lamp, I am going to just leave this, like a big circle-ish area. I'm just gonna leave this part alone. And I am going to start off by, oh my gosh. I am going to start off by putting this stick down. So, the way I actually want to place this thing down is... Okay, remember guys, alligator lizards are semi-aboreal, so they love to climb. So always try to keep that in mind when you're building them a tank, just because it does give them good enrichment, and it helps strengthen their muscles, if that makes sense. And we also got this little piece right here. It's a pretty interesting piece, so actually, if we do something like this... actually have a higher gradient for them to climb and that is cutting a little bit too sh like close to the warm side so I'm gonna move this exact stick placement a little bit more to the right or my right hand side your guys is left I'm assuming okay okay so yeah that's looking pretty freaking fire not gonna lie dude want to make sure that it's not going to fall on them. You know what I'm saying? You want to make sure that it is stable, however your setup is. 
and I'm just hitting my freaking tripod right now. Great. Okay, so now that we got that done, we got this little stick as well. And we're just gonna, what are we gonna do with this thing, huh? You know what? Just in case. For the time being, we're just gonna stick that right there, okay? That looks beautiful. But I also got these pieces of bark, okay? And yeah, these are good little hides for them just because they like being nice and close to the ground. Um, you do want to give them enough substrate for them to burrow, but if I'm being honest, I've never seen my burrow. But the ones that I have caught from the wild and brought into captivity, they do burrow. So I think it's just the fact that these guys have never learned how to burrow to survive. So yeah, they just like the feeling of being tight under the piece of bark. So yeah, um, I do want to give them a gradient, you know what I'm saying? So that's a warm little, a warm side where they could hide and still get some heat because it's kind of close to the um, heat spot or where the heat will be coming through. So I'm just gonna place this right here as well. Just so it adds to the, the warm side, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, last thing that I'm gonna add to the warm side, just these little rocks, you know what I'm saying? Decoration vibes. Um, yeah, then we'll add one more like right here. Okay, that's looking pretty freaking fire, bro. Now, if we take a little movement to the other side, as y'all can see, this is where the cool side's gonna be. So this is where I'm gonna have their water dish. Y'all can see the alligator lizards in these little containers right here. But yeah, this is where their water dish is gonna pretty much be. And because of that, this is also gonna be their cool side plus their humid side. And yeah, they do need humidity. They need a gradient. They need to be able to switch in between getting humidity and getting heat slash dryness. If that makes sense to y'all. So. Yeah, I got that right there. Oh my gosh, I'm just hitting my phone like a psychopath. Wow, this is so tragic. Yeah, I think that's a better shot for y'all. Probably not though. We're talking about Chris here, guys. CEO of making horrible videos. All right, but yeah, got that there. Oh yeah, that's looking fire, bro. Okay, now we got this little thing. Um, I put it in there just because it helps them shed they're able to run, rub their skin all along the bark area, if that makes sense. So yeah, honestly, I think if we do this. Yeah. Now that is what I am talking about. Okay, okay. So they got a little cool hide right next to the water dish because they like feeling safe when they're drinking from water. Um, I've realized that this has worked many times, especially for baby alligator lizards. So if you have a baby alligator lizard and you're scared, it's dehydrated, use this technique, should work. We got this area to help them shed. They're able to rub their skin all along here. And it's also on the cool side. So they go right from being cool either under here or right here. And then they go right here and start rubbing their skin to help them get a full shed. And if they full, if they shed fully, like here, shed exactly like this, then you know your care requirements are perfect and immaculate. If they have a broken shed, then you should switch things up a little, okay? And yeah, the main thing that does seem to be um, something that goes wrong when it comes to care for alligator lizards are either you're not keeping the warm side warm enough or way too warm. Usually it's way too warm. Sometimes you should like cool it down and the humid side or humid side is not humid for as often as it should be. So this is about half the tank right here. I would say only having this like one fourth, even if that more like one fifth to one sixth of the tank humid. You don't want it hugely humid for like half the tank. You just want this little section where they're able to get some humidity. Because in the wild, they're only going to be really getting humidity when they go in between little grasslands areas, you know what I'm saying, near creeks. That's the only main point they're going to be reaching or getting that humidity into them. So yeah, you don't want the whole tank humid. But since I messed up with the substrate, it's going to be pretty humid for like the next day, bruh. But hopefully the heat lamp should dry things up pretty fast. So yeah, I think I'm going to add one more thing, bruh. Can't forget the decorations, man. Fire. Fire. 
So I'm thinking of adding this thing right here. Oh my gosh, that's so embarrassing. Why the hell I got the plastic on? Oh my gosh. How do I cut this thing off? I'll just use my shark teeth. Got the gangster dude. Hold up, how can I show y'all that I'm gangster? Gangster, dude. Okay. Ow. That did not hurt me whatsoever. I just said ow because I'm a... I don't even know. Okay, but I'm gonna put this right here just because of the design, dude. And yeah, guys, they got plenty of hides. You know what I'm saying? It's like a little junk, uh, jungle gym in there. As y'all can see, let me move this a little bit for y'all. The top view. So yeah, they got there. Oh my gosh. Get this wire out of the goddamn shot. That's so embarrassing. But yeah, so they got that cool side. You know what I'm saying? They got that jungle gym area. They could climb, get that enrichment. Got this little hide that's somewhat in between. You know what I'm saying? You want to give them a hide, cool hide, um, in between hide, and warm hide. And this is kind of like a warm hide. But yeah, if I stick, actually I could, you know what? I'm just going to stick a warm hide in there as well. So yeah, guys, let's get that warm hide in here real quick. And my hand was in the shot. Wow, that's... That's awesome. Thinking of this little thing, it disturbed my rocks. Actually, yeah. Okay. So, I might end up swapping this hide right here for another hide that I have in a tank because it is a little bit too big. Or it gets hotter than most other things, so I don't want them to accidentally burn themselves on this. So I might swap this out. If not, though, I do like the look of it. You know what I'm saying? Got that warm hide. Got that semi-in-between type of hide. You know what I'm saying? Let's move it more towards the middle. You dig? And then we got that skirt. Cool hide. So yeah, guys. I hope this YouTube video helped y'all for all the alligator lizard vid- Oh my gosh! So yeah, guys, I hope this video helped y'all, you know what I'm saying? This one's for all the alligator lizard keepers, you know? And yeah, if you had any questions on how to build a tank, leave in the comments down below, and I should answer it within the next three days, because I do low-key lag, but yeah, I do respond to every single comment, unless it's like, literally, like, just, like, something that I can't respond to. Like, not even a question or anything, it's just, like, numbers. Like, if it's something like that, then honestly, what the hell am I going to say? But yeah, I'll respond to everyone freaking comment, bro. So yeah, just comment down below if you have any questions, all that good stuff. And let me know if you like the new recording style with the tripod. Or if I should go back to my wobbly freaking hands, man. And yeah. Yeah, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Lates. Lates! Y'all are gangsters, bro. Please like and comment. And subscribe. I really forgot this. And if you stay to the very last part of the video, um, yeah, you'll get to see the alligator lizards get reintroduced into their new home. So, yeah, let's get into that. Yeah? Oh, can you ask for KFC? <laughs> can I ask for what? KFC. Sure, bro. Really? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I want all your drawers straightened out as well. Hey, Grandma. So that means you're going to need to make a pile of giveaway clothes.
Thank you.